Hello and good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for joining in today. My name is Mehul and I'll be presenting the webinar How to Monitor Long Running Queries Using SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL. During the course of the webinar, if you guys have any questions, you can drop them in the chat and I'll get back to you with the answers after the webinar. Now, let me begin by giving a quick introduction about the solution. And I'll also be going through the overview of our solution because uh, a lot of our features, they, a lot of the features that we have, it has the functionalities to detect the problematic queries that you might have in your MySQL environment. And it is useful to get an overview or a basic understanding of what these features are so that as a DBA, you can not only monitor and track these problematic queries, but at the same time, take some actions on it. So uh, this is what I'll be covering uh, in this webinar today. And at the same time, I'll, I'll also show you what exactly you need to do when it comes to monitoring long running queries and whether or not there are some actions that you can take once the tool has de de detected those long running queries. So SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL is an agentless on-premise MySQL and MariaDB monitoring solution that gets up and running within a few minutes. It works with all the flavors of MySQL, such as MariaDB and Percona, and its agentless architecture makes it a cloud ready solution as well. So you can even monitor your servers that are hosted in the cloud, such as Amazon AWS, RDS, or Google Cloud. Now, the moment you launch SQL DM for MySQL, it takes you to the overview page, which you can see here, where you get to see the top where you get to see the total number of servers you have registered with the tool in case any of these servers are down. What are the critical alerts and warnings associated with each of these servers? At, at the same time, you also get to see the top 10 running queries based on the total execution time. You can click on a particular query to see the relevant query details, such as the first scene, last scene, the average latency involved. And you can also dive right into these critical alerts and warnings and see what these are. So these are the critical alerts that are being thrown at uh, us uh, from the tool. If you just click on a particular uh, critical alert, it will tell you what it exactly is, what was the threshold values that was set for a particular monitor group, and what is the current value due to which this alert has been uh, shown to you. And at the same time, not only it will tell you what kind of alert it is, but the tool also give you an advice in the form of, of what you should do to ensure that these alerts or these critical alerts do not occur again uh, in your MySQL environment. So all of these can be accessed directly from the overview page itself. So it basically gives you a bird's eye view of your MySQL environment and helps you achieve faster issue resolution time because you can take quickly take a glance at it and see what are the critical alerts and warnings in your servers in case any of these servers are down and things like that. Moving forward, we have the servers page. Now this basically lists down the total number of servers you have registered with the tool. In uh, These are again color coded. So a green, a red color on a particular server would indicate that there are some critical events associated with the particular server. If there is a yellow color appearing on a server, that means there are some warning events associated with a particular server. And if the ser server is coded green, that means your servers are stable and are performing as they should be. If you're someone who worked with a lot of servers, you also have the option to group these servers into a tag name so that you can quickly look for the all, all the servers that you have tagged together using these tag names. Moving forward, we have the dashboard feature. Now, this is one of the most loved features of the tool because it has all the charts that indicate the health of your MySQL environment. Any spike in these charts could be a good indicator of bad performance. You can look into these spikes and see the corresponding queries that ran during the select time frame. You can even click on the particular query to see the relevant query details, like such as the first scene, last scene, if there were, whether or not the query did a full table scan or not, if there was any error count and things like that. And not only that, the tool helps you even further. You can click on a particular query to see the relevant query details like you can see here. And we have something unique that we like to call as the query explain plan, 
which is basically the tools advised to you in the form of an optimized query. So for example, this is the query that ran during a particular operation that has caused a spike in my MySQL environment. So this is the query that ran and the tool has detected that this is a problematic query. So not only the tool has detected this problematic query for you, but it is also giving you an advice under the query explain plan in the form of an optimized query. So this is the query that ran that causes spike in your MySQL environment. And this is the tool's way of helping you by giving you an optimized query. So you should probably uh, look into the optimized query around so execute them run some operations and that would ensure that these spikes do not happen again in the future. Now, now and this does not end here. What I'm excited to show you guys here is the capability for you to roll out your own custom dashboard. All you need to do is click on create new dashboard. Give it a name. Enable the parameters or the charts that you would like to see in a particular chart. If as a DBA, you'd like to see every single detail of a particular server, you should be enabling each one of these charts and click on save. Once you do that, a new dashboard would appear that would have all the charts that you feel suits your MySQL environment. Now, the reason we allow our users this flexibility is because we believe one size does not fit all. And a lot of our users, they would like they would like to do a lot of charting and trending for a lot of MySQL matrices. So this capability or flexibility is available to each one of our users that use a SQL diagnostic manager for MySQL. Moving forward, we have the monitors page. Now, SQL diagnostic manager for MySQL gets shipped with more than 600 plus best practices, monitors and advisors that constantly and proactively monitors the health of your MySQL environment and provides you with timely alerts and advices before things go wrong. So this is the tool's way of doing proactive monitoring for you. Now there are two interesting things to note about these monitor groups. Firstly, these are not simple plugins. We are business partners with MariaDB and we work with a lot of DBAs who deploy our solution on the field. And all these monitor groups, 600 plus of them, has been assembled over a good period of a decade and we constantly update and upgrade these monitors so that the tool can do proactive monitoring for you and provides you with timely alerts and advices before things go wrong now this is the this is one interesting part about these monitor groups the second interesting part is the if you just uh, click on a particular monitor to tell you what it basically does so for example we have a monitor call available here which basically tells us whether the tool is, is able to connect with mysql or not so in the event the tool is not able to connect with mysql you will immediately get an email alert because the notifications are in, in, is enabled for this particular monitor group now the second interesting part is if you just click on a particular monitor you will see the underlying code or the logic behind each of these monitors are not hidden from you if you are someone who would like to do a lot of customization and you want a particular monitor to behave the way you want it to uh, based on your MySQL environment, all you need to do is update the function here. And under alert, set the color alert condition, set the critical and warning thresholds, enable notifications and drop down an email where you want to be notified and click on save. So once you do that, every time the threshold value is crossed for a, for a particular monitor group, you will immediately be alerted uh, right away. So like I said, the underlying code or the logic is not hidden from you, which gives you absolute freedom of flexibility to customize these monitors to your heart's content. Moving forward, we have the real-time monitoring session. Now, real time is something you need when you're trying to figure out what's happening in a MySQL environment in real time. So I'll I'll give you an example. Suppose if you have been getting a lot of email alerts between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. every single day, and you want to figure out what's happening in your MySQL environment in real time. In such a case, you should use the real time monitoring feature. Since this is a demonstration, I'll try to load a safe session for you.
So real time continuously executes a bunch of queries and fetches all the information and matrices such as you get to see I'll just wait till the data loads up. So you get to see the total number of queries that ran in selected time frame. What were your most busiest tables, databases, if there were any slow query logs, if there were any locked queries, locked tables, and things like that. Now, since all of this in information is retrieved in real time, you get to see what your servers are up to at any point of time. But this is very beneficial when it, especially when you're trying to do a debugging exercise and you want to figure out what's happening in your MySQL environment that is causing a spike or that is causing so many alerts that are being thrown at you by the tool. <clears throat> so it is very beneficial because sometimes you need to have high fidelity monitoring in place for a specific debugging exercise. Moving forward, we have the query analyzer feature. Now this is one of the most powerful features of the tool as it lets you capture queries using multiple endpoints. You can either analyze the slow query log, the general query log, or we have something unique that we call as the sniffer. Now the general query log and the slow query logs are something that MySQL itself provides. What we have developed as a unique feature is what we call as the sniffer. Now the sniffer basically works with two different modes. Let us first see what these modes are and how it can be accessed. The sniffer modes can be accessed from the servers page. All you need to do is click on three, these three dots, go to edit server. And under the sniffer fe feature, you'll see an option called enable sniffer. And you'll see the sniffing mode for the sniffer feature. So these are the two modes that we would be talking about today. One is the performance schema mode and the processes mode. Now, in what event should you be used the sniffer feature and why it why it is that I have called this particular feature that we have developed and it is very unique in nature. So the reason for that is if you are someone who is trying to do non obtrusive query analysis, what I meant, mean, me, meant by that is if you are someone who like to see every single detail of a particular query or if you are someone who is trying to even capture short lived queries that, that take less than one seconds to execute. In such a case, you should use the sniffer feature. I'll show you how the information layout looks like. So as you can see here, you get to see the top five running queries based on the total execution time. And you also get to see all the queries that ran during the select time frame. <clears throat> you also have the option to go back in time and analyze these queries. You can also set a custom time frame here to figure out whether the problematic queries that you have in a MySQL environment is acute or sporadic. And I talked about non-obtrusive query analysis, analysis. What and what I meant by that is, if you're someone who's trying to look for every single detail of a particular query, so if you're someone who's trying to do that, you should use this sniffer feature under the performance schema mode. So if, as you can see here, these are the query. If you just click on a particular query, you'll be able to see the relevant query details. But if you'd like to see every single detail of a query, all you need to do is click on Show Hide Columns. Enable all the parameters that you would like to see in a particular query and click on apply. Once you do that, all these rows would start or columns would start to appear here and you'd get to see every single detail that you're looking for a particular query, whether or not the query did a full table scan or not, if there were any four indexes used, if there was any lock times and things like that. Now, since all of this information is available to you, you can completely do non obtrusive query analysis wherein you will have every single detail of a particular query that you are looking for. So this is the advantage of using the sniffer feature under the performance schema mode. Now the other mode that I talked about was the processes mode. Let us first see what the information layout looks like. So as you can see here, it pretty much looks the same. You get to see the top five running queries based on the total execution time. You also get to see all the queries that ran during the selected time frame. However, if you look try to look for the minute query details, you will see there that there are very limited details available for a particular query. So one might wonder, one might have this question that what is the advantage for me 
to use the processes mode of sniffer if i'm not able to see the relevant query details that i could with the performance schema mode i'll show you what the advantage is let us go back to the servers page click on edit server and under the sniffer feature you'll see this particular server is configured under the processes mode so the advantage of using the processes mode under sniffer is the tool's capability to monitor long running queries for you this is the way you monitor long running queries with sql diagnostic manager from mysql if you just scroll down a little further there's an option called monitor long running queries so all you need to do is set the threshold value over here so for example if i set a 10 second value here so every time if a query is taking more than 10 seconds to execute not only the tool would track these monitor or track and monitor these long running queries for you but it can also take actions on your behalf if you just scroll down a little further you'll see there are there's an option called action to be taken so every time when the threshold value is crossed or if the query is taking more than 10 seconds to execute it can either notify you the tool can either notify you via all these notification channels email snm right it can also write to syslog slack snmp traps or it can straight away kill that particular query if you are someone who'd like to have both the options available you can select notify and kill and the tool would essentially be notifying you when the threshold value is crossed for a query execution time and then at the same time it would kill the particular query now the flexibility does not stop here if as a dba you are aware that you are going to run some operations where the long running query time would be exceeded in such a case all you need to do is just specify those queries over here and under the ignore queries option and even though the threshold values would be crossed these the tool would simply ignore those queries because you have all, already specified those queries over here so these are all the additional flexibilities that comes with uh monitoring monitoring long running queries not not only the tool can monitor these queries for you but it can also take actions on your behalf which would save a lot of time for you and it would all, always keep you on track as to what happened and what kind of problematic queries are there uh, or long running queries are there in the mysql environment Moving forward, we have the server configuration feature. Now, this is one again one of the most loud features of the tool because it gives you the option to track and compare server configuration. This is pretty unique to the tool and no other monitoring solution in the market currently provides this capability. To help you understand, let me give you an example. Suppose if you have two servers, server A and server B, they both have the same set. They both are similarly configured and are sharing the same load but one of them has performance problems so the underlying cause for that could be a change in server configuration using sql diagnostic manager for mysql you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of server configuration so as you can see here we have two servers over here uh, and right now we are just seeing the overview of the server configurations now if you'd like to save a lot of time on a daily basis, the two, you can just see the changed values with a single click of a button. If you see the on the top right corner, there's an option called show only changed values. Once you enable that, you'll only be seeing the configuration changes that were made. So you do not have to go through the entire overview or each and every configuration to ensure what was changed and at what time. Not only you can track these config, uh, not only you can compare these configuration changes, but you can also come track and compare at the same time which would tell you what configuration was changed and at what time which should save a lot of time for you on a daily basis enabling you to take corrective measures in ensuring that both of the servers that you have similarly configured are stable and are performing the same way as they should be moving forward we have the replication overview page now this basically allows you to view the replication hierarchy of your MySQL servers along with the details of each of the replicated servers to make sure that the data is up and running at all times. You can directly click on a particular server to see its status or you can toggle between these two modes to see the relevant details such as if there is any lag between the master and slave servers, if the slaves have stopped running or if there are any connection issues. Now this is again color coded in nature so a green color would indicate that your master and slaves are stable 
uh, yellow color would indicate that your servers are not in sync as you can see here one of my servers that we have is not in sync and a red color would indicate that the servers are not connected now since this is a demo instance uh, we just have a simple master and slave setup over here however the tool is also capable of uh, doing providing multi-master and multi-source application. It is capable of doing both of those as well. So this brings me to the end of the session. In the end, I would like to conclude by saying, if you're someone who would like to, who's on the lookout for a monitoring solution that covers all the phases of MySQL and MariaDB monitoring, whether it's proactive monitoring that can be achieved from the monitors page where we all you already have 600 plus monitors and advisors that proactively monitors the health of your environment or if you're someone who'd like to see what's happening in your mysql environment in real time using the real time feature or if you're someone who'd like to do a postmortem exercise or a reactive exercise where you'd like to go back in time and see how the queries that you how your queries were performing whether it's problematic queries or sporadic or acute which can be accessed using the slow query logs, which allows you the option to go back in time. So if you're someone who, who's on the lookout for a tool that covers all the phases of monitoring, proactive, reactive, and real time, you should definitely give SQL Diagnostic Manager for MySQL a trial. A uh, fresh trial can be downloaded from a website, webdub.com. There's an option called start a free trial. And we offer free 14 day trials for all our users. And we also offer free technical support during the trial period. So in case if you guys have any questions during the trial, you can reach out to us and my team would be happy to assist you. Thank you very much for joining in today, guys. You guys have a uh, good one.